Hi, today let us understand the conveyor belt designation. This is the picture of Don Bosco. The conveyor belt can be designated in the following manner. It can be designated as cotton cotton 28 OZ that is ounce, nylon nylon NN200, polyester nylon EP200. Let us look into cotton cotton. So OZ means ounce and this is the thickness of the belt. The thickness of the belt can be made of number of plies. There can be 2 ply, 3 ply, 8 ply or it can be 10 plies depending upon the requirement. The width of the belt can be somewhere between 25 mm to 1500 mm. The total length of the belt can be 100 meters or it can be less than that according to requirement per roll. So when you go and buy you may get it in rolls. And the fabric used is hard cotton ducts or soft cotton fabric. Let us try to understand the belt construction. The belt consists of two parts, the cover and the body. The body is known as kirkus. It is plied woven fabric. As you look into this figure, you can see that the top part is called as the top cover and the below part is called as the bottom cover. The whole thing is made of rubber and this is called the cover of the belt. Within this lies the body which is known as kirkus which is plied woven fabric. Now the kirkus which is also called the body is plied woven fabric. It provides sufficient strength to handle the operating tensions and to support the load. The cover is to protect the Kirkus or the body. It, it has certain properties which is physical or chemical in nature due to which it provides as a covering and a protection to the main body of the belt. Now let us look into this figure. In this figure you can see that there is a top cover and there is a bottom cover. Both are made of rubber and you can see there is a mesh. There is one mesh, two mesh and three mesh. This three mesh is present in this particular conveyor belt cross section hence we call it three ply conveyor belt. In between you can see intermediate rubber parts. The mesh consists of vertical and horizontal line. The horizontal line is called as wrap which may be of cotton and the vertical is called as weft which may be also of cotton. So this is the mesh that is present in between the conveyor belt so that it may provide strength to the whole belt. Now you can observe that the top portion of the belt that is the top cover is thicker and the bottom portion is thinner. Now this is because the conveyor belts are subjected to wear and tear. So the wear and tear is much more at the top portion because the material is loaded at the top and the bottom portion the wear is less because it comes in contact with the pulley. We can see in this particular diagram that the mesh appears like this and it is in between the rubber intermediate. So what you see here is the mesh in between the top and the bottom rubber. Now the plies or the mesh can be more than one. So in this cross section you can see there are two zigzag lines. Hence I can say that there are two number of plies in the belt. In the figure to the right you can see that there are five zigzag lines. Hence I can say that the belt consists of five plies. In this particular figure you can see to the left that we have this green color which is the rubber and inside that we have the body which is known as cuckus. The capital B is the belt width and capital T is the total thickness of the belt. Here four lines are present hence this horizontal four lines are called as plies and here we can say it is a four plied belt. The figure to the right has three lines hence we can say that this is a three plied belt. We can calculate the belt thickness in the following manner. The belt consists of three types of thickness top cover, bottom cover and the kirkus that is the body of the belt. The top cover can be from 2 mm to 25.4 mm 
maximum the bottom cover can be from 0 to 25.4 mm total thickness can be 50 mm so this range is by a particular manufacturer now the total thickness can be calculated like this it can be top cover plus the carcass plus the bottom cover we can assume the top cover to be 10 mm as per the requirement the carcass since the belt is of 32 oz is 32 as designated and the bottom cover can be 5 mm 32 oz in terms of mm is 32 multiplied by 0 0.4 so when you add that together you get the total thickness as 27.9 mm now conveyor belt consists of different thickness like you know that it can be made of cotton cotton which can have 28 oz 32 oz or 34 oz and so on and you can see they can have nylon nylon also fabric so it is like nn100 nn125 nn450 or it can have a fabric which is polyester nylon that is ep100 ep200 and so on so in many varieties these are present in the market and is made by different manufacturers let us try to understand what you mean by cotton cotton 28 oz leather thickness is usually measured in ounces in usa and other places where one ounce is equal to 1 by 64th inch in thickness or you can say one ounce equal to 0.4 mm in thickness so when I say a belt has 8 OZ or 8 ounces, it has 3.2 mm thickness. Similarly, when I say a belt has 36 OZ, I can say that it has 14.4 mm. This thickness may change according to the manufacturer depending upon various properties required. Number of plies in a belt can be found out using this particular PSG design data book. Once you know the width of the belt and if you know what is the density of the material that is being carried. So here you can see different columns with different colors showing different density. So the first density group is from 0 0.4 to 0 0.85. The second group is from 0 0.85 to 1.25 tons per meter cube. So once you know the width of the belt and if you know the density of the material that is conveyed, you can find out the minimum and the maximum number of plies from this particular table. Now let us assume that the coal is the material that is being conveyed and the density is around 0.65 to 0.78 tons per meter cube. And if we assume the width of the belt as 800 mm and then I will be able to find out in which column I need to focus. So the red color thing is the column I need to focus. So the coal with density 0.4 to 0.85 is within my range. Now I have two options in this. Either I can take thickness as 28 OZ or 32 OZ. So I will take a bigger thickness that is 32 OZ. So the belt 32 OZ with width of belt as 800 mm can have minimum four number of plies or seven number of plies so i minimum becomes four and i max becomes seven so i can select any one of this or in between for my belt selection number of plies can be also calculated using this formula where t1 is the maximum tension in the belt and f is the working tension in the belt and B is the width of the belt. So if I know these three parameters, I can find out the number of plies for the belt. And accordingly, I can select a belt from the manufacturer's catalog. Here, polyester nylon fabric is used. You can see that EP200 is something that is used for conveyor belt, where wrap is the polyester and weft is the nylon and 200 newton per mm is the fabric per ply breaking strength so this is how you designate ep200 here we can understand that the wrap is the polyester which is pink in color and the nylon here is the weft which is cream in color so in this particular manner they are woven with each other nylon nylon is another type of belt fabric where wrap is also nylon and weft is also nylon and as seen earlier 200 newton per mm is the fabric per ply breaking strength 
At this point, we have covered some of the conveyor belt designation.